<laughs> Hello friends. <clears throat> How are you doing? Okay, so I have another free time today and as usual, I want us to discuss a very, very important topic today. So today I want us to talk about 10 advantages of sex in the settings of marriage. You see, why this topic is actually very important to me is that most times in marriage, you know now, initially before couple get married they have this excitement about each other because we humans we package ourselves they get so the first stage is usually the stage of packaging where you see only mostly the good parts you get of your spouse like and you're excited about it hey, oh my god he's cute he's this he's scaring he's that and that and that so that's the, usually the first assi um, uh, excitement because you see the strength of your partner and you are excited. Now, when you now finally get married to that person, you go to the next stage of marriage, that is to see the weaknesses of that person. And this phase actually is one of the reasons why marriages have issues because by then now, you will now see the dirty part of your partner. You now know the weaknesses like, oh my God. And most of the times, even see some people start regretting who even sent me on this journey. Like you start asking yourself, why did I even have to choose this partner in the very first place and all that. So, and the part, the, those people that we focus on our partner's uh, weakness, rob us of the main place and even the medical advantages of sex. So I want to tell us this evening about what 10 medical advantages of what having sex. I remember Dr. Unique, if you're meeting me for the first time today, oh, I'm so happy for you. Take a hug from me. Remember to do what? To click on the subscribe button and notification bell so you can always get our exciting videos. And whoop, if you're a return subscriber, mm, 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 plenty kisses for you. So let's go straight to the point. What are the 10 advantages of, <clears throat> of um, you know, healthy sex in marriage? I've given you background. Try not to let anybody or anything make you not to enjoy sex in marriage as much as possible as it lies within your strength. Have, have sex as often as more than 21 times in a month. I want to be realistic because some days are not convenient. Since the average of 20, 30 to 31 days in a month, make sure you have sex for at least 21 days in marriage. That's my own recommendation. And studies have shown that people that have sex up to 21 times in a month in marriage we have what some of these things I'm going to tell you. So one of the advantages of the medical advantage, number one, it's what boosts immunity. Says helps keep your immunity very, very well, strong and booming. Okay? Now it's better, most better, when you combine sex with other things that boost immunity, like good food, vegetable and all that, vegetable diet and good diet. That you will see it because sex has been said to what to a kind of release, you know, some a kind of factors that makes our immune system to be what very very strong so it's very very important that you understand that sex boosts your immunity. number two it boosts your libido because yeah libido is very good you, when your libido is high it ties a lot to reducing stress and even making you to you know be very very healthy so it boosts your libido that's another second um, advantage of uh, constant sex in marriage number 13 that is very very important is that it improves women bladder control remember in the last video i made i talked about kegel's exercise an exercise that keeps the pelvic muscles contracted and very, you know, and retain their strength, making you to prevent uterine vagina prolapse and even making you to also um, prevent other problems like incontinence and wide vagina. So, and that thing that helps you to do that is sex because during orgasm, when a woman has orgasms, her pelvic muscles contract and strengthens the pelvic muscles. So, women, are you hearing me? Don't say you are punishing your husband that you are denying him of sex. Yeah, <laughs> my dear, you are denying yourself of other advantages of sex. Okay, so now what are other things? You also lowers your blood pressure. Yeah, sex lowers your blood pressure because you know, yeah, what usually happens is that it relieves you from stress. As a way that says, you know, takes charge of stress in your body. And stress is one of the things that triggers increase in blood pressure. So sex has been proven to what in a study to decrease your blood pressure, especially the systolic blood pressure. Now, also, sex also is a form of exercise. Yeah. Do you know that sex is a form of exercise? Yeah, though it cannot replace your normal exercise, but you you burn calories. There's increased heart rate, and you burn calories when you are having the exercise of sex. Okay, now, it also lowers you to have the risk of heart attack. Do you know? Yeah, it lowers you to have this uh, risk of heart attack because it exercises the heart, like I said before, increases the 
heart rate and also lessen pain for women. You just notice that from the stress of childbearing, trying to run the family and all that, women tend to develop low back pain. They develop black pains and all sorts of pain, my dear. Like I tell you, after work and each day, when my husband gives me very sweet massage, at my back like this, uh, followed by a very hot sex, my dear. <laughs> it's a very good analgesia. So, before you try aspirin or going to co combine ibuprofen, remember that sometimes when you take some of these drugs from over the counter, you give yourself very big problem by developing peptic ulcer. My dear, sex can do the magic for you. Just try as much as possible to be happy in that home and enjoy good sex. And I want to point this to women before I will continue. Most women, you notice that we carry offense in our heart. A man, you will do a man anything you want to do him. Because when he sees your body, your body will just rise. He will have his sex and enjoy himself. Women, when the man touches you, you start remembering, he did this to me. He did, Babe, I want you to know that you will die before your time. Marriage is endless forgiveness. Forgive everything the man has done for you when it's time to enjoy sex. Then mechara the thing, lick the thing and be happy. I'm telling you, this is the truth. Learn. That's the aspect a woman must learn to, you know, learn from men. Men forget things, forget a lot of things that destroy them in the marriage and still enjoy sex. So you must learn to enjoy sex also. So now, what are the advantages? Remember, we've talked about that it increases, it boosts your immunity, increases your libido, improves your bladder control, lowers blood pressure, you know, counter exercise, and even lowers the risk of heart attack. We also say lazy pain. What is the next thing? Now, for males, this is for you. Do you know that constant sex can make a man to have the lesser risk of developing prostate cancer? Although this will also be combined if the man has genetic, the, um, you know, genetic, genetic um, this thing, predisposition for cancer. So the other factors are there. But yes, it's been said that frequent orgasms, okay, frequent orgasms <clears throat> makes a man to develop less risk of having what cancer and that is that was in a study proved by american um, medical association okay okay where they studied that if a man is having sex for orgasm for as frequent as 21 times in a month it decreases the man frequency to develop prostate cancer now what is the other thing that it does for you do you know that exercise makes you to sleep well, my dear? Sometimes when I don't, maybe I have a lot of worries and I notice that I can't sleep, I'm finding it difficult to sleep. Ha! <sighs> Once my husband massage me and I get, I have sex, after sex I fall asleep. So it makes you, it eases, it reduces stress for you. Okay, so by making you fall asleep and you see yourself bubbling. So I want you to know, don't deny yourself. Say, don't say you are denying the man sex. You need sex. <laughs> baby girl, you need sex. You need to be handled like a baby girl and you see yourself moan and joy. Okay, it has a lot of medical advantage. So um, I choose to be carnal today. I know some of you know me as that kind, that Christian sister. My dear, hmm. sex is very honorable. In a marriage confinement, please, you've been given the license. Do not let the any circumstance, the challenges to, like, to rob you of sex because most times in marriage you now start battling with paying bills, children disturbances, children fears and all that and you now tend to forget that this is one of the things that keep marriage is this sex. Please, if you because of children you don't want to have sex, I want to encourage you Go and take family planning, but this sex is very, very important to you. So I remember Dr. Unique, that your favorite doctor that is very happy to see you live a healthy life, okay, emotionally, physically and otherwise. Okay, like I said before, remember to what? click on the subscribe button and the notification bells so you can always get our exciting videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I'll be waiting to get your feedback in the comment section and also your questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>